If Wendy Williams is lacking in anything, it would be a strong opinion. After all, she's the one who came up with the expression say it like you mean it, and in a recent interview with Vlad, she did just that. The 48-year-old novelist and talk show host shared her opinions on homosexuality and male rappers that dress sexually in the rap game, especially making sure the audience knows how she feels about Diddy being homosexual as well. To know the details of it all, watch this video through till the end. As per media reports that have recently made rounds on social media sending fans into a frenzy, it has come to light that Wendy Williams owns a picture that involves a man pulling another man's puffy pants down. And well, rumors have it, one of the men might just be Diddy. That's right. Of course, one should have something concrete to back something so legit and reputation molding about someone. Which is exactly what Diddy's former bodyguard has done for Wendy Williams, as she is a woman who is known to speak facts with strong evidence. Here's what's happening. Jaguar Wright has been allegedly igniting small fires all over the place and exposing some alleged dirty secrets of some of the biggest names in music, including Diddy and Alicia Keys. The native of Philadelphia doesn't appear to be slowing down. However, as it appears that a new artist is targeted for target practice every day. While a handful has opted to comment, the majority of the artists have chosen to keep silent. However, Wright might have gotten some reassurance from Gene Deal, Diddy's former bodyguard. The former bodyguard addressed Wright's multiple charges on Instagram and provided confirmation for some of them. As per his claims, he states people always sending me stuff, man. They sent me the stuff on Jaguar, right? I salute you goddess, a lot of stuff you talking is real. And, not just this, but he went on to further give more clarity regarding Diddy's homosexuality. He went on to state that he thought he remembered seeing Wright in a bar in Philadelphia many years prior when Puff had instructed R&B musician Music Soulchild to remove that turban off his head. He expresses his gratitude to Wright for what she's doing once again before shifting his attention back to the current situation and responding to her assertion that he was being paid to remain silent. Take a look at how Jean Deal paid his thanks to Wright for taking a brave step forward and spilling the facts as they are. According to him, baby girl, listen to me. Ain't nobody paid Big Jean off. Ain't nobody ran Big Jean off. It's not happening. Never ran and never wills. Never have. From nobody or nomad. Sweetheart, you're wrong about that. So, I've heard you say that twice. Somebody said that to me twice, so I'm just letting you know, baby girl. I don't know you personally. Do you understand? But I respect what you do, but you are wrong when you tell. Unless it's another bodyguard. That ain't Big Jean. You might be speaking about somebody else. You're not speaking about Big Jean. Meanwhile, Deal made an effort to address the allegations against him before continuing in a way that seemed to support some of Wright's as well Wendy's assertions. Deal continued by stating that he had witnessed many things while around his former employer, which had prompted him to begin praying or quoting scripture. Deal then continued by mentioning Mary J. Blige, another performer about whom Jaguar made allegations. In a prior tirade addressed at the I'm Going Down singer, Wright claimed that she had been hiding her taste in women for years while challenging her to a versus combat. Meanwhile, Summer Walker spoke out against Wright, but it didn't stop her from doing the same for other entertainers. Wright has further voiced her opposition to Mary J. Blige, the queen of hip-hop soul. By challenging Blige to a versus match and snubbing her talent, she called Blige out on Instagram. She continued by claiming that Blige had been concealing her sexuality for many years. As for what Jaguar has to add about Mary, she says, I can produce my own songs. I can sit down with a competent mix engineer and walk all the way through a mix. I can do those things, Mary, can you? What can you do, Mary, other than playing dress up and eating snatch in dark places hoping nobody finds out? And if I'm lying, sue me, Mary. The former bodyguard also made statements in another video that appeared to substantiate Wright's charges on Diddy or at the very least add gasoline to the fire. These statements were made in reference to Diddy's homosexuality making rounds on social media nowadays. Gene then makes multiple references to Diddy's secularly fluid identity throughout the lengthy video, and he also claims that Diddy once brought Exhibit to a gay bar. In addition to that, he recommends making it a personal mission to watch the bad boy CEO engage in activity with other guys. Gene went on to say in his interview, I know that for a fact because I was right there. He said, yo Gene, watch the door that doesn't let nobody come through. I said I'll watch the door and if I watch the door, he and a man ran out naked and I said that ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. I'm telling you what I saw. Gene claims in another very disturbing interview that he accompanied Diddy to an exotic bookstore back in the early 2000s while they were both with the music mogul. Gene says this took place while they were both with the music mogul. Similarly, Gene claims that while he was at the store, Diddy purchased a bag full of ST toys for his children. According to him, Diddy bought a number of but PLGS in particular. The events of the story are becoming crazier from here on out, as according to Gene, Diddy brought the merchandise with him to a performance he was performing in North Carolina, as media takeout revealed. Allegedly, when Diddy arrived at the hotel, he told Gene that he wanted to pay fellow rapper Yabrul a visit at his own residence. Gene was then of course surprised to 
to hear this information. Gene alleges that he tried to prevent Diddy from unexpectedly pulling up to rule suite, but Diddy insisted on doing so despite Gene's best efforts. According to Gene, Diddy ended up going into Yaw's apartment in the end. Gene made the observation that the room appeared to be empty except for the two males. He additionally says that when he asked Yaw about why there were men in the room together, Yaw told him, you don't want to walk inside the room, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on inside there. Not to mention, Wendy had a very strong two cents to give as well. According to Wendy, I'm not down with any of that. It wouldn't be my man. Be very clear, there were lots of homosexuals in the 80s too. What's worse? Hip-hop wearing skirts or hip-hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood and that, you know, and denial is something that you shouldn't have to deny. There were many situations back in the day, in my career and it's all coming full circle now. So, the real question that lies here is, is Diddy really gay? Well, although many people have hypothesized that the man who was born Sean Combs was gay, he has been in a number of high-profile romantic relationships with women, including the late Kim Porter. These relationships have also resulted in the birth of several children, including Christian Combs, who is also attempting to establish a career in the entertainment industry. Additionally, even while Diddy may not be directly stating that he is gay, it is clear that he is edging closer and closer to making that claim. One of his recent music videos has lyrics expressing, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid, to be loved the way? Like, I really want to be loved. Divided by, but then I know how I really want to be loved. But I'm, but I'm, like, scared to really, really feel that, you know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it. Maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. And while the rampant homophobia in hip-hop is not one of the many beneficial things that it has brought to American culture, yet hip-hop has brought many other things that are positive. Because of the pervasive homophobia in hip-hop, even a so-called enlightened rapper like J. Cole isn't above using anti-gay slurs. And some critics say that homophobia in hip-hop has become normalized, it is challenging for anyone to come out of the closet, even someone as influential as Diddy. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.